Hello, this, this is Elliot Schlissel, elder care attorney, and today's subject is scams involving seniors. With the passage of every single day, the number of financial scams targeting senior citizens seems to rise. It is not wrong to claim that fraud involving senior citizens may be the most significant issue of the 21st century. Many states have come up with laws who, who are designed to provide senior mem members of our society with protection from these scams. So let's talk about the scams. The first one is called the fake prescription drug scam. One of the common types of scams that have been prevalent since the year 2000 involves issues pertaining to counterfeit prescription drugs. It has been found that seniors have a tendency to try to find better prices on the specialized medications they take. The danger is the seniors are faced with making payments on prescriptions that actually are not what they think they are. They are unsafe substances Purchants that can adversely affect them. The next scam involves selling bogus items to, to seniors. And this type of fraud is committed against seniors. It involves an elderly person being talked into sweetly to buy a product. The new product that they convince to purchase is a brand new television in a new sealed package. However, this, it turns out to be a well-padded rock. It is important for seniors to stay away from buying similar types of fraudulent items. There are also several instances where seniors have been forced to purchase property under undue influence or external pressure. You're most likely to find several instances where seniors have been duped to part with their own properties. False prizes, that's another scam. Financial fraud that is committed against almost all concerned seniors is offering them with false prizes. In this type of scam, seniors are duped in such a manner that they are made to believe that they can become rich overnight. A survey has brought to light the fact that by means of committing similar types of frauds, the scam making market is able to earn an amount of approximately one billion dollars every year. Since our society is bombarded with crazy persons, fraud, fraudsters tend to earn a good amount of cash by means of duping them into purchasing fraudulent anti-aging products. They are made to believe that these products at the age of 60 can make them feel like they're in their 40s. Telemarketing can indeed be looked upon as one of the common types of frauds that are made against elderly persons. It has been found that the older section of our society is easily susceptible to similar types of frauds that are committed. There are no documented proof. Similar types of scams can indeed prove to be difficult to trace as well. The number of financial frauds and scams against seniors is expected to increase if proper steps are not taken.